Hello everyone, Ron Johnson here from LTL Tutoring Central and it's story time. This time around I'm reading a Native American story. Traditionally it would have been passed down orally from generation to generation, so no specific author or original author. At some point it would have been transcribed, but um, originally it would have been just passed along orally. It's probably very, very old and it would have many versions. So this is one version of Iceman Puts Out the Big Fire. So sit back and enjoy, follow along, uh, with the text if you want to, or you could just use it as a listening exercise. Iceman puts out the big fire. One fall, the people started a big fire to burn off the underbrush. A tall poplar tree caught fire and burned long after the people had gone. It burned the branches and the trunk, and when there was nothing left, the fire settled in roots and burned a hole in the ground. The next day, men passed pots of water from the river to the hole. The women threw in dirt and rocks, but still the fire burned until the small hole in the ground became a huge hole. The people peered deep into the hole. Will this fire eat up the whole world? they asked fearfully. Then one of the elders spoke. Far north lives fierce ice man who sends our frozen season. Maybe cold will kill the fire. So some of the people marched the long way north to ask for Iceman's help. Creeping cautiously to his ice house, they found a small man with white hair hanging to the ground. Can this little man help us with such a big fire, they wondered. Yes, yes, I can help you, he exclaimed, quickly unbraiding his long hair. Then he took his hair in one hand and whipped it across the other. At once a cold wind began to blow. He struck his hand with his hair a second time and a light rain fell. A little rain won't kill that fire, cried the people. So Iceman shook his hair fiercely and raindrops turned to sleet. With another shake, hailstones pelted the ground, bouncing around people's feet. Go back now, Iceman commanded. When you are home, I will take care of your fire. So the people returned home and found the others still watching helplessly. The next morning, as everyone stood before the glowing pit, a cold wind swept down from the north. The people shivered and shook but the wind only made the flames blaze higher. Then a light rain began to fall, but the fire laughed and hissed and threw up clouds of smoky steam. Now Iceman was angry. He mixed sleet with the heavy rain and shook down snow, but the fire hissed louder. When the flames had eaten up the snow, Iceman whipped his hair and threw cold winds at the flames until hail covered the fire and filled the hole. The people shivered and cried in their lodges as the wind became a whirlwind, driving rain and sleet into the ground and finally killing the last of the burning embers. When it was over, the people crept back to the place where fire had been burning up the world and found instead a deep and beautiful lake. Iceman blows down from the north from time to time to make sure greedy fire was really killed. But some of the people say that on quiet days from deep in the lake comes the faint sound of embers still crackling. <laughs>